A power cut delayed Parliament's vote of confidence in Lebanon's new government. Fuel shortages is one of many problems in a country facing its worst economic and financial crisis. A mobile generator and diesel fuel to power it were eventually secured. Prime Minister Najib Meati's task is to rescue the country. But he's promising what successive governments were supposed to do over the years. Reform state institutions mired in corruption. We pledge to fight corruption, implement laws and act to supervise their bodies. We promise to immediately restart negotiations with the IMF for an economic recovery plan. Lebanon is a debt-ridden nation where state services are collapsing. There is little hope for change, as long as the same officials that dominated financial and political interests for decades stay in power. They stole billions of dollars and transferred them abroad. We are ruled by gangsters, not politicians. The previous government did hold talks with the IMF, but there was no political will to carry out reforms, like opening the accounts of the central bank and state institutions. Audits would have exposed billions of dollars in losses, in other words, corruption. And reforms would mean the political class accused of hijacking the state would no longer be able to use its resources to distribute jobs and services to their constituents. Politicians have lost some support because of the economic meltdown, and it's a critical time with parliamentary elections expected early next year. Their main priority will be to oversee the uh, financial crisis, mainly the lifting of subsidies. But of course, this is not rooted in a strategy uh, to serve the Lebanese people or the economy as a whole, but rather uh, for the government to continue playing this role of the protector of the regime. The financial crisis began to unravel in late 2019 due to unsustainable spending. Lebanon has been in turmoil since. Nearly 80 percent of the population is now poor, but the old entrenched system is prevailing. Zanakhudir Al-Jazeera, Beirut.